This is where it all started in the parking lot of the ReStore, pouring the piers that we would eventually set the container home on. And we want to thank Martin Marietta for the aggregate donation that made this possible. Here's the containers coming to the site um, from the fabricator. Excalibur did a great job in the fabricating, cutting out the interior walls, doors, and windows. Um, we set them, the first two on the ground and then the second two on top, welded them together, um, and it took about three hours um, to set all four containers. And a crane, of course. And then this is the final product with them stacked together. Now you see the inside. And we had some amazing welders on site helping us and our Habitat crew chiefs came out to help us. This is them putting the exterior siding on. Um, first came the stone and then on the second floor we did hardy siding. Um, and this was a new product that we worked with so we were very happy that the um, manufacturer came out and showed us how to do that. Um, so that turned out really well. We'll have four different colors of stone uh, for the homeowners to pick from. Um, now you can see the side, the deck. It is a very large deck and it covers a carport for two cars and at the rear of the carport is the storage building and where all the mechanicals are. The fire riser, the panel, the electrical panel, and all of the things that feed this house. Good morning, welcome to our training center, our prototype of our 35 townhome subdivision community called Cotton Grows. Um, this is our um, in progress model um, and we'd like to take you inside to see what we're doing so far um, and what we'll have for the future of affordable housing in Collin County. This is when we had the walls framed out and all the electrical and plumbing in the walls. You can also see above where we had the Mitsubishi um, air conditioning unit. We have one on each floor and then we are keeping the exposed ductwork on the first floor. This is the wonderful deck um, that they'll have a nice outdoor space for whatever they like to do. Inside this is more finished. Um, the bamboo floors are now getting ready to be epoxied. Um, you can go up the stairs. Um, the stairs has been painted to match the, um, the air conditioning vent and also the stainless steel appliances. There's a laundry room on the right hand side, the bedroom on the first floor. Um, it has a closet in it as well. And this entire first floor is handicap accessible. Um, to the left of the bedroom is the the bathroom and this one has a roll-in shower um, for wheelchair and we left some open areas that you can see what's going on behind the scenes so that's what you saw up there as we go up the stairs um, these treads will be replaced with beautiful stained wood um, there's two bedrooms upstairs that's the bathroom on the left and then this is a, a common area that could be used for living or office space this is one of the bedrooms, they're very large. We've selected some really nice fixtures for this that are very contemporary. The ceiling fans are silver um, with a light in them as well and they're huggers so they're small and don't take up a lot of the space in the ceiling. You should be able to see it when we go in here, there it is. Um, they put out a lot of light, they're LED. Um, that's the closet in the upstairs bedroom. It's a very large bedroom based on habitat standards. And then that's the door to the left um, out to the deck. And here's an almost finished exterior view. Uh, the awnings came from Victory Awning. Um, we were very happy to have those. This is the site, the transition from dirt to concrete to a road. Now all of the lots are benched and ready to be built on. We 
want to invite you to come and visit us and come see the project www.thecottongroves.com